Warm welcome from my side. Um, pleasure to be here on a, on one of my rare evening meetings. I apologize that I'm wearing a suit, but uh, I ha I'm having a charity dinner tonight, so my wife forced me to dress up properly, which I I got um, I got I got some comments in the office, and I framed that this is the formal Wednesday in response to the casual Friday in other industries. <coughs> So I'm a co-founder of uh, Passion Capital, originally from, from Germany, as you easily can hear by my accent. I've teamed up in 2009 with two partners, Eileen and Robert. We all have operational backgrounds. Uh, Eileen used to be, she's, she's Asian-American. She grew up in Chicago, engineering background, uh, then moved to the Valley, worked for 10 years at Apple and the like moved to Europe and became head of product and uh, I think employee number three at Skype, where she got the hyper growth bug, as we call it internally. Robert, I've met, Robert is as British as it gets, even though he claims he's half Italian, but trust me, there's nothing to see of his half Italianness. Um, he is as Brit as it gets. Um, I sold my company in 2000 to him. Uh, I was one of the darlings in the dot-com area in Germany, having been the founder of Ricardo Online Auctions, which was probably the speediest IPO in Europe up to now. So we founded the company 21st July 98 and took it public 21st July 99. This was just unbelievable. We hired pretty much everybody who made it into the office, including the pizza delivery guy who, who worked for customer service. <coughs> After, after other more, I, I, I found it. My, I, I never worked for anybody else. I've only ever worked in my own startups since university. In reality, probably even earlier. Um, I think ten years university. Being German, uh, you have the pleasure of spend, spending a lot of time at university. Then ten years founder. Pretty much the first seven years unsuccessful. Then I've or we've been lucky. The next years moved to London, uh, 10 years here in London, um, did a lot of angel investing, some good, some very good ones, some bad ones. And finally, in 2008, 2009, when the crisis hit, I thought the time was right for, for the d domain I think I reserved in 2002 or 2003, uh, Passion Capital where we wanted to create a venture firm very early stage, really focus on the proto from prototype to 12, 15 employees, that's our speed spot. And we wanted to create a venture firm that um, we would have loved to deal with, actually. Have I told you about my first meeting ever with a venture capitalist? It lasted 30 minutes when he asked me, what's, what's your EBITDA expectation? And I looked at him completely clueless, what he was asking for. That was the end of the meeting. So we want to make things different. Out of fund one, we invested in 42 companies. We are quite proud that it's actually 42 companies and no other number. Um, it, it quite a big spectrum of companies, actually. Um, in this context, we, when you would have asked us in 2011 when we started the fund, will you ever invest in a hardware startup, we would have clearly said, no, no way. We'll never touch it. Same with photo sharing apps. Uh, we did the photo sharing app and um, we did two hardware investments, so much to um, to VC planning and theme oriented investing. So with us, it's really, it's, it's all about the founder. It's all about the team. That's what we are doing. We try to be as open, as transparent as it gets in our whole process. We try to change the way early stage investing is done in Europe. We, what's, oh no, that's, that's more, that's more LP, so, so our, our, our backing maybe to be transparent there as well, because I think it's important, you know, we raise money as well, and we need to make money for our investors, that's our game, it right now looks quite good, but it's not really relevant for you guys, that's probably more relevant. On average, our check is 190k pounds. In fund two, we aim to do closer to 250 or 300 and aim for an ownership of around 20%, uh, which we like to keep so we protect our stake in series A and series B rounds. 
the way we try to change our or our little our little two cents in changing the ecosystem we've been the first fund that published its term sheet and we our term sheet is written in plain english so e even my mother do understand what what's in there <coughs> which is quite helpful for first time entrepreneurs we have quite a strong track record in follow-ons, so six of them are still on seed runway, uh, 28 raised follow-on financings from uh, a broad mix of British and US and some Asian investors. Five wind-downs, we expect more, that's just the nature. I mean, I, I founded so many companies myself and out of eight, two have been successful, three. And two lives two lifestyle businesses and three complete failures. So you, in reality, you never know. You never know before. What's here? Passionate about people. As I said before, what we do, we get engaged in, in, in the... So we need to see a working prototype. We are not investing on concept phase. Um, <coughs> usually we have two point two seven founders per team on average. It's unfortunately, it's a very male driven industry. So our deal flow, we see 2000 deals every year. Our deal flow is less than 5% female founders. So it would be great if we could change that. Um, average age, yeah, well, you can have a look. That's interesting. So 80% of the founders are extroverts, 20% introverts and their Chinese star sign is by majority in the sign of the red and the second one is the sign of the horse. So whatever this tells us about our founders and our selection and, and, and choosing the right ones. Our team, we are three partners. We have two associates uh, both focusing on really helping the, the startup. Um, Sandra has a KPMG background, so she's dealing with the nasty and, and, and dumb tasks of the of financial and R&D tax claims and stock options, all, all this boring stuff. Uh, whether Nick, who is dealing with the, with the deal flow, is a techie by heart, so he, started, he made his uh, uh, first websites at the age of 11 and is a, is a super guy, a strong addition to our team. And the three of us. On average, our process seeing a new company is, is as follows. Please try to get an, somehow a referral to one of the four of us, Nick, Eileen, Robert, or myself. Some connection, some people we know, some people we trust. Uh, get in touch with us. Uh, we usually, uh, once this comes by a strong referral and we, we somehow like the idea and aren't conflicted in, in whatsoever way, we have a first meeting. From that first meeting to issuing a term sheet on average over these 42 days, uh, 42 deals, it took us 7.47 working days. So we are not saying we are fast. We can prove it by numbers. We are very fast. It never or rarely takes more than two partner meetings. And hopefully um, we can all create together with all the other participants in the, in the ecosystem, which has started here in London Beautifully, my, my, my first Old Street office was, I opened it up in end of 99 uh, next to Old Street, which is Silicon Roundabout. I took Last FM to, to the Silicon Roundabout, I think in 2005. So, and it's great to see what's happening now. So many companies, so many ambitious entrepreneurs and more people who, who are willing to take the risk. And looking back to my own career and, and, and history of being now close 25 years in, in working, nothing beats starting a company. That's what it is. And with this in mind, keep on rocking, guys. Thank you. Thank you.